that some folks that parade themselves on the altar who call themselves men of God, the kind of heart some have amazes me. A woman is healed, has cancer. Daughter has given her, you know, number of days to live before she die. She, 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 you know, approached her as a man of God who she believed or to pray for her. All you could do, you charge her over two point something million. You did this touch. She doesn't have the money. She is not a wealthy woman. You said she should go and borrow. She borrowed the money with interest. Jesus, wait to. You mean it has got into this in Christianity? Has it got into this level? This was shocked me. This was shocked lies me. Guys, please share this video. As you watch it, please like it and share so that uh, we can expose elements like this who are dating the name of Christ. Please like so that Facebook and YouTube can recommend that. Please share. God bless you. Please help me. I was scammed by a pastor in Abuja. I've been struggling with cancer for some years now and the doctors gave me a few years to leave. His name is Prophet Victor Okeke. He's the General Overseer of Good News International Gospel Center in Abuja. He collected 2.2 million Naira from me. I had to pay commission to send that 2.2 Naira to him. And the commission is around 400,000 Naira. So everything in total is 2.6 million Naira. His name is Prophet Victor Okeke. He's the General Overseer of Good News International Gospel Center. He collected this money from me despite the fact that he knows that I'm a cancer patient. He told me to go and take a loan out to give him this money. Please, Nigerians, please, I need your help so I can get this money back. It was a loan. Please, I don't know how I'm going to pay back this loan. This is very, very sad. Very sad. The truth is, religion have done a lot of harm than good in Africa. In this continent called Africa, religion have done a lot of damages, especially in a country like Nigeria. The kind of damage religion have done and especially Christianity. The way these pastors of nowadays brainwash people is crazy. And again, a lot of you are falling victim because you don't even know yourself and you don't know your religion. The religion you claim you are practicing, you don't know about it. That's why you people will always be a victim of a scam. You claim you are a Christian, which is gotten from the word Christ-like. You understand? You claim you are a Christian, that means you need to act like Christ. Go and look at the Bible. There was a place where the Bible talked about faith. They say if you have faith, you can move mountains. They never said if somebody has faith for you. You carry to you go to call a loan two point something million to go give pastor. The same pastor never even fit tell you what to go happen tomorrow. He's not sure about his own tomorrow, whether him himself will die. You carry two point something, you go call a loan. So that the person go cure of cancer. After doctor scientists don't tell you, say this thing will kill you. Fine, it is okay to have faith, but somebody cannot have faith for you. Remember that part of Bible where we see somebody go meet Jesus for healing. Jesus come tell the person after this. He said, "It was your faith that made you whole." Jesus Christ tell the person, "It was your own faith that made you whole." Not what the pastor is doing, not what he himself, Jesus Christ, is doing. It's because you believe that's okay when you connect with this person. How many times your Bible they pay Jesus Christ for healing? How many times did they pay Jesus Christ for healing? You can claim you are following Christ, but you don't know anything about him. How many times was Jesus Christ paid for healing? All these pastors would just be washed now, they brainwash you now. And a lot of now they blinded. A lot of now they blinded. I'm so, so sorry that this thing happened to you. I get it. Because you are scared of dying and all that. But again, follow your scripture well now, Nigerians. Follow your scripture well. Pastors don't knock a lot of people. And now, no, see, they learn. If pastors really get the power where they claim, Tinubu no go this seat. Because 80% of the pastors in Nigeria, in Nigeria, they claim that Tinubu will not be the president. Who sit down for seats now? Who sit down for seats? Among other names, Apostle Suleiman, I can remember vividly when Apostle Suleiman said it with his mouth, the election will not hold. He said the election will not hold, but election held. You understand? Election held. All these kind of things. You know, suppose they connect the doors. We suppose don't leave religion behind by now for Africa. Don't they follow other things? When I carry this religion thing for head and the thing just they bite you now, they bite you now, and I don't even get sense. Now you don't owe two point something million. They call Nigerians. Sister, we're not gonna help you. We're not gonna help you do anything. You understand? We're not gonna help you. Nobody can help you. 
If God say you go buy, you go buy. If God say you don't go buy, you don't go buy. As the doctors don't give you that verdict, say, okay, you are going to die. You're supposed to start to make amends. People where you don't offend, you go to apologize to them. They do things right. So that in case if it happens, you go go meet your savior.